Hello and welcome to Iratus, Lord of the Dead. <laughs> this is basically an evil uh, darkest dungeon where you play the bad guys and it's pretty damn good. It's rated really highly and uh, I already did the tutorial and I, I kind of made a video of the tutorial but I think we're just gonna skip that because uh, after finishing the tutorial the game locks into the lowest difficulty. And in order to actually just go with like normal or hard, whatever, you need to start the game again. And you know, let's just let's just skip over the tutorial. Like, there's just a lot to learn, and I love that. Like, this game has a lot going for it, and it's it's fucking great. So let's go. So we're gonna go new game, and we're gonna go not on cakewalk. We're gonna go more pain. We can go with endless rise or good always wins, whatever. We can just go go with more pain, stronger enemies, more elite enemies. Enemies can get inspired. Average vigor recovery for minions out of uh, out of battle. All right, let's go with more pain. So, what we got here is the starting squad over here. <laughs> we got the Dark Knight. And we got the skeleton. We got the Bride of Iratus. And we have a lot of stuff we can mess with. We also have access to talents. Because we are Dark Lord. And people are just uh, encroaching on our territory. <clears throat> the kingdom had need of the vast riches buried underneath the castle. Great veins of iron that promised to fuel conquest of the conquest. Along with ancient artifacts from a long forgotten age. The dwarves were eager to offer their services for the, in this project, bringing their untested mining equipment and experimental concoctions for the promise of wealth. They only needed bodies that could obey, and that the humans could provide. With dungeons filled to the brim with both criminals and rebels, there was no shortage of slaves to work uh, these mines. Drugs were used to keep them docile as they dug ever deeper year after year, unaware of the mortal danger that awaited them below. Who's that danger? It's me! Wow! Okay. Uh, we have a lot to do. So, we have talents. We have the Humanarium. <laughs> so, it's uh, like the bestiary of the humans. We, we got a graveyard. And this is where we can uh, just make some buildings for our, our guys. Uh, we can go back. We have, uh, not the Humanarium, we have got the Talents. We got Alchemy, Magic, Iron, and Destruction. These are all... Well, gameplay affecting Talents. Both affecting the minions, mostly Alchemy affecting the minions, and Magic, Iron, and Destruction affecting the main lord. So, instead of like uh, how it is in, in Dark Souls, I mean, not Dark Souls, Darkest Dungeon, but I should just show. I should just show not tell. So let's just fucking do it. Uh, I, I already know these a little bit. Although the tutorial was a little short. But I already gave them a quick read. Uh, I, I picked this one. A soul Leech. But I realized that physical damage to a random minion. I got the minion. So I was taking the damage. The physical damage. So that's not good. We might want to pick up some... Uh, something that... Uh, that doesn't hit my own minions. That would be great. <laughs> so that would be nice. So let's do that. All minions gain two initiative and uh, two actions. If it's a scare, a square, is then it's an active ability. If it's a uh, it's a uh, a circle, then it's a passive passive uh, ability. I think we're just gonna pick up a uh, flaming skull as start, or maybe bone spear. They both seem okay. Bone spear is just like yeah, deal physical damage. For you guys, it's basically like average of uh, 22 for 8 mana, and this is like average of uh, 21 for uh, 6 mana, but like it's it's delayed. This is, from what I can tell, the most, uh, most mana efficient way to deal damage early on, but you have to keep in mind that... Uh, yeah, the, the game has a lot of armor and like damage blocking effects. So like, if you have like three magic, if the enemy has like three magic armor, then this is gonna be pretty bad. So I don't know, maybe Bone Spear is better. But let's just go with Flaming Skull for now. I think that's gonna be uh, okay as uh, as a way to start out. <clears throat> and we also need to create minions. That's right. So these are all the minions that can be used in the game. 
and uh, Rina. This needs a skeleton to to get to work, and uh, we might want to make a skeleton here. Just make a bunch of parts for the skeleton, and now we got a skeleton here. Zombie, Banshee, Dark Knight, uh, Blood, Bride of Iratus. It doesn't matter right now too much. You are so wonderfully rotten. So we got 20 architect souls. We can use that, and with the sacrifice of one minion, to make an arena. And in the arena, we can go to putting the guy and training at the arena, minions gain two experience points. And there are many other. Yeah, many other uh, buildings here that we can use. And they not only cost resources and the minion sacrifice, but they also need to have a minion in them. And after every fight, we, we get something out of it. But currently, it doesn't matter too much, uh, because we can't craft uh, another one. This is, uh, I think it's maybe a, like a reasonable starting out team. So uh, let's just get into a, a fight. I don't think we have an artifact. Unlock the secret iris spell. Removes all the buffs from the chosen minion. Remove restores six mana for each buff removed. I don't know. It embellishes my undead features. And uh, here we can combine weapons. This is distillation. This alchemy. Okay, never mind that. We, here we can upgrade our our items, and maybe something else in the future. At least the tutorial hinted that. I I think just like skipping the tutorial is just clearly the way to go because you know it just locked the game to the easiest difficulty, and uh, it's not gonna show us anything new. It was mostly just reading, so. But I prefer just the hopping right into it. I didn't mind doing the tutorial, but I, I think uh, I would be just fine without uh, doing it. <clears throat> uh, sacrificial altar by sacrificing minion, Iatus receives items and artifacts. Okay, so it's we kind of have a like a we have to decide which path to take. This, I know, this seems pretty pretty big, but uh, we have to choose a path to take. But first of all, we gotta take out these uh, these humans that are in my way. Now we got two spells. We have the Flaming Skull. Wait, what? We also have Move Right, Devour Magic. Remove all the buffs from the chosen minion. Restore six mana for each buff removed. So we start with uh, 100 mana. Okay, these deal quite a bit of damage. Maybe we try to take out the conscript. Have a warm end, my Wait, what? friend. He did take three damage, but it's really hard to see. Now we have the damage of the guy. We have the dread damage, which is uh, affecting the sanity of the unit. We have they have a uh, vigor and sanity, which is basically like a uh, well. Well, it's pretty obvious. Also, it's like an effect in Dark Souls. I mean, not, not Dark Souls, Darkest Dungeon. God damn it, what am I saying? Accuracy, evasion, block that's critical hit. Armor blocks physical damage. Resistance blocks uh, magic damage. Actually, like, by a certain amount. A block blocks one instance of physical damage. A ward blocks one instance of magical damage. And initiative is just uh, the turn order. <clears throat> And uh, we have a bunch of abilities. We have five abilities plus an ultimate. And I think I'm just gonna go and smite this sucker. True damage. Oh, it's actually fire is true damage. Very interesting. And uh, important to note. We have chest piercer here. Deals uh, pretty good damage. A lot of good abilities. And not only you have a bunch of abilities, but also you can uh, change them and upgrade them. A lot to do in this game. 
So he's gonna take at least 16 damage from fire. Uh, Heartless Slash. This deals 20, I mean, uh, 12 to 13 damage, kinda, right now. It's not the best. We can gain mana with this Dark Tide. Deals an additional. We cannot use the Flaming Skull now. We can stress attack, but it, it doesn't really matter. A stance is something that you do for one round. It just doesn't stay up, you just do it for one round. Unless maybe it states that it stays up for more rounds than one. But uh, by default it's only one round. You basically skip your turn for that. I think we're just gonna go with a slash on this guy. The conscript is just gonna do die. The reason I have the zombie in the back, despite the fact that a lot of his abilities uh, don't work, is because the bombardment allows him to deal up to 24 damage. Actually, not 24, 32 damage to random enemies, physical damage. It's a stance. A bit messy for a stance, but it is an okay stance, so... I just try to, try to take out the conscript. Uh, Flames of Love is the uh, most damage we can deal. Okay, this guy is very tanky. So, look at that. Uh, can, you can see it from the bottom right corner that the Dark Knight has 6 armor and 6 uh, magic armor as well. So every time he takes damage, he takes 6 less damage. Very, very good. Uh, we can just try to set them on fire. My friend. I just go for like a double attack. Well, we missed one. Okay. The conscript will not die. Of course, the big problem with the bombardment is delayed. And now they have a chance to act. But it's a it's a good ability. The Dark Knight is doing his job. That's tanking. Oh, we can just hit this guy. So the zombie will act, and these guys will die. So basically at this point it kind of doesn't matter what we do. Uh, yeah, they're dead. They're dead. Super dead. Both of them. Uh, I can, If I can gain some mana at this point, that would be the best. But it doesn't really matter. Also, we have two uh, resources. Well, we have crap ton of resources, but the main guy, Iratus, has two resources, mana and rat. Or, I think it's rat. Like, yeah, it's rat. Right? I think it's rat. <laughs> it costs rat to use. Uh, so, which can be used by anyone. So we can gain some mana with the Dark Tide. It goes back by one. Okay, we found some brains, <laughs> 20 IQ, <laughs> which means uh, level 2 in this scenario. And we took some damage, and anyone who takes damage... Okay, graveyard effects, Bride of Iratus uh, got an upgrade, I think. So we can go to the graveyard, we found... It's level 2 now, we can level up the Bride of Iratus. And we also can buy more minions. I'm not sure exactly what we want. Obelisk. This gives us Souls of the Architect if we put in uh, that guy. <laughs> we need to create him. So we can create the raid. An unassuming creation. Perhaps the one. Uh, we cannot create any more raids. We can create the Banshee. We can create the Dark Knight. And the thing is, our Dark Knight is currently in a pretty bad spot. He's not gonna come on the mission. He's gonna be taking a chill. A timeout. So he's gonna be resting. And, uh... Let's say we go for a sacrifice. 
So we this guy needs to be sacrificed. Is overflowing with souls. My continued campaign certainly provides it with And uh, we can just use Bride of Iratus. And now you can see that we have a bunch of upgrade paths. Ch chest piercer can be upgraded two ways. So this deals average like the combined damage is like 42 but average 21 damage. So it seems okay, but you have Flames of Love here, which is uh, 15 and a half with uh, 8 fire, which is better, but it's it's slightly delayed. It's it's actually not even less upfront damage, but this has the uh, extra advantage of uh, critical attacks. So that, that could be really strong, of course, if you get a crit, but you may not. And I, I suspect that this might be stronger as the game progresses, or maybe like stronger for single t attack. But there are like, yeah, a lot of options here. I think I just want to go for Flames of Love, two, two upgrade paths, either longer fire or just a little bit more upfront damage and uh, a little bit more damage. So this is, uh, makes the Bride of Iratus a little bit tankier. And this, this makes uh, the Bride of Iratus uh, even more well, deadly. My minion. So we're gonna put in the Dark Knight. And just go into the graveyard. And someone else should be doing a research there. I can go for another Bride of Iratus. Let's see what we can do. We can make a zombie. Okay, let's make a zombie. So we got a zombie now. Uh, maybe we want a skeleton. Let's let's get another Bride of Iratus. It doesn't matter right now, actually. It doesn't matter. What we should do is go into the graveyard and put in the zombie for now. Actually, someone needs to be in here as well. So it does matter. We need to make something. Uh, maybe it should be a skeleton. Let's craft it. And I can't make any more units. Uh, let's just put in the skeleton here. So he's gaining XP. And these guys just gonna stay out. By the way, these are four teams here. Team 1, Team 2, Team 3, and Team 4. But I don't have enough units to actually make full teams here. The Dark Knight actually has no XP at all. This is 2 XP. This is 1 XP. This is, uh, this, well, we are, we, she's at 2 XP right now. And the zombie also has 1 XP. I'm not exactly sure how they get XP. I think for kills. But the Dark Knight is the dumbest. He has 10 IQ. The dumb, dumbest motherfucker. He's terrible. So, we're gonna install him a new brain. This is actually a life tip for anybody. If you have 10 IQ, just find the ba brain that actually has 20 IQ. And there you go. Good tip. It, it's like, it doesn't matter that you just replace your own brain. Don't worry about it. You're gonna have twice as much IQ. Perfect. Let's do it. So now he has access to better... Well, one upgrade. And not only one of the abilities is gonna be upgraded, although you have to choose between one or the other, but also you're getting a passive boost here. So he can get free attack. And he's gonna be more... He's gonna be taking... Well, he's gonna be doing more damage. But at the same time, you have to consider that... Let, let's, just, let's just count this. So, he deals currently 13 average damage. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> That's just the stat. So here, he deals 9.5 damage. Plus half of his uh, magic and uh, regular armor, which is 6. So he deals... Uh, 9.5 plus 6, which is 15.5. Pretty good. This is... No, no, no. Actually, yeah. I mean, no, no, no. I'm actually wrong about this. So currently, currently he deals uh, 12.5. With this, he would deal 15.5. But also he would gain free attack. And 75% of that he would get. So he would gain... He would deal like... You know, let's just say 18 
with like 17 18 ish damage instead of uh 12 to 13 and uh here he would deal 75 percent of his armor and resistance so he would deal a little bit less damage because he would his damage would go up by three just as it would go up with, by the edge of the abyss, but he doesn't gain three attack. What he gains is one physical uh, armor, which also gives him half attack, technically, but also makes him more tanky. So I think we might want to go for that. So his main job is just to stand there, because keep in mind, he gets one action per turn, obviously. Everybody gets, like... It's gonna be like four four guys taking one turns, and uh, the enemies are gonna take uh, four turns. All the all all the people are gonna take uh, a turn, chance to like mess him up, and maybe he will not get hit. But uh, also, this is a passive one. I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, there there are a lot of good things here, but I just want him to be the tanky tanky beast here. So we're just gonna take uh, passive. Wow armor and a little bit more damage for him i think that's gonna be just fine and that's it for now we can't create any more creatures so let's head out what about my mana seems like i cannot spend my mana so maybe my choice was bad we can sacrifice minions to receive items or so either we want either sacrifice minions or get minions or get XP. I don't know, get minions? <laughs> uh, let's go with Battle Squad Bomb. Uh, choose a minion to raise. Uh, we got two of these uh, bastards now. I don't have any of these, so maybe we're gonna take that. So we get one minion and we can go and Go for a battle as well. When you don't go for a battle, uh, it doesn't count. Only after victory, the the buildings do something. Well, or maybe defeat. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how would you lose. I don't know if you can run away. It didn't really get to that. Got to that yet. Oh, these miners are damn scary. Have a warm end, my friend. So, we can set them on fire. And fire is true damage. It's pretty nice. He can gain armor and resistance until next action. And more likely that he gets hit. Yeah. I'm kind of hoping that the Dark Knight will get hit. Maybe he'll just do some damage. Oh, he went for a block? Oh, let's look at this. So he's gonna take at least 18 fire damage. And possibly... Uh, that's not enough. That's just not enough. Also, we can affect the sanity as well, but... Uh, uh, <clears throat> that's uh, not the first approach. Taking out people. <clears throat> Let's do bombardment in the back. And you might think, like, why the fuck do I have the zombie in the back? Is because uh, that's just how it fits. I basically have three frontliners and one ranged, and maybe we're gonna change that. So my wrath went up. Have a warm end, my Rose for the lady. We can deal damage to everybody, which is pretty damn good. Maybe Become someone else is going to use the rat. We can stress out everybody with the skeleton. Uh, just go for like a double attack. Oh man. We are in the same scenario. We have to hit him. So make sure he dies. Oh my god. The Dark Knight is almost dead. I don't know if this uh, bombardment is a good way to use the zombie. I mean, it seems it deals a lot of damage, but it's also so fucking delayed. Okay, I I think the skeleton is just gonna stand his ground. It's more likely to get hit. Uh, hit the conscript. I 
can set him on fire. Have a warm end, my friend. And he's going to die from the fire. The bombardment. The next guy is gonna die for sure. Oh no. Don't take him out. We can gain mana. Unfeeling aggression. Physical attack. And we slide back. Oh, we slide as forward. As you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Alright. So let's get on fire. That, that's more like an AoE thing. Alright, he's dead. As your suffering <laughs> Alright, we're good. <laughs> so yeah, these are the city events. The skeleton leveled up, and we also got six building resources. We can go back. See that the skeleton is level two now. Uh, this guy definitely needs to have a timeout. And I believe... No. We have a bunch of buildings here. Uh, we can make this rate. By the way, this rate is uh, using a slightly better resource. Okay, let's put that there. And he's gonna level up to level two. Actually, we have a brain to give give it to him, but yeah, fine. Uh, this Dark Knight is super useless. Each minion studying the ancient books gives Iratus uh, 35 experience, so we can only build one building. Uh, we can also upgrade buildings, but it it costs more. It costs double at least. This uh, gives us mana, gives us rat at the beginning of fights. Uh, Finds a random part for the minions. Chance to find a random item. So obviously we can all, uh, equip the minions as well with items. We don't have any right now. Fully restores vigor of a minion. This is what I'm looking for. Wait. The mortuary? Oh! The mortuary is something that we have by default. Oh fuck, I need, I need to upgrade the mortuary. <laughs> yeah, the mortuary is something that needs to be upgraded. Uh, so what we have here. So, extra mana, extra part, maybe? Extra rats? I think an item would be very nice. What do we have to put in here? A banshee. What can I, what can I do? I can make a banshee. I don't have any better parts. We can make a banshee. Come dear. It's time for your and that's it. And we can go back to the graveyard, make a dead leg, uh, just go into the dead leg. Uh, I can sacrifice the banshee. The entity below seems to have developed a new attachment. I can put it. To lay eyes on its full uh, I, I, I'm not sure if they heal while they are actually uh, in the building. I suspect no. Maybe, maybe maybe we'll find out. I don't know. The skeleton can be upgraded. It's level 2 now. Uh, we have a base physical attack. This ignores armor. I'm not really using this. Ignores armor and block. And doesn't miss. So... Yeah, I mean, but also you gotta keep in mind the passives you get here. So, for example, by we would get magic armor by going for this path, just passively. <clears throat> and by going for this path, we would get uh, physical armor with the smite that I use quite a bit. Attacks twice, dealing a 50% damage, 4% chance to immediately kill the target, 3% uh, luck. Uh, luck is something that you deal extra damage and you also deal stress damage, dread damage. Uh, you attack twice and uh, for additional attacks for each buff on the target. I think smite the show offs is the way to go because we get physical armor as well. And even yeah, getting some uh, regular health would be pretty nice as well. My Let's just go with smite the show offs. Surprise. And I think smite the show off for both of them. Because we are currently dealing with physical damage uh, guys here. The the zombie can be uh, upgraded. Uh, you gotta keep in mind where your guys are. So we got Flames of Love here that we are using with the Bride of Iratus. 
and uh, which is actually a very uh, vulnerable minion. We got the zombie. Magic attack deals magic damage, ignores ward. That's only 15 damage. And you gotta keep in mind that, for example, the flames of love deals uh, like 35 combined, uh, 17 and a half, plus 9. It deals a lot of damage, okay? Uh, let's, just, let's just count this. Uh, so 18 plus, uh, plus at least 17. So it's like 35, 30, 35 and a half damage. And, uh, yeah, this is actually even better. 22 plus, uh, yeah, this is 42. So she deals 42 damage with the Flames of Passionate Love. That's fucking insane. That's ridiculous. And having a zombie there that deals nothing. Like, the zombie does have some magic armor. But, like, doing 15, dam 15 magic damage is just garbage. And no matter how we look at it, it's garbage. Physical attack deals uh, 6 damage to the chosen target and 2 enemies behind it. That's still pathetic damage. That's only 18 damage for 3 targets. Ignores armor. Deals a little bit more damage and 2 more targets. So this is just straight up better than the bombardment now. This is just Bombardment Plus at this point, because it's an instant Bombardment. But the only problem is... ...that he can only use it from the first two rows. And that's that's actually something that comes up all the time. That, uh... I don't know... Just, just setting up a, a good lineup of, of units is, 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 is difficult. Smoke Bomb... Deals, what is this? Ignition. But this is also an ability that he can only use from the first two rows. Deals 3 damage plus uh, 15. So this is 33 damage. Pretty good. It's of course not as good as uh, uh, 42 damage. But it's respectable. And we can upgrade it to deal. And the enemy standing behind it. So this is actually better, well, just just raw damage-wise, than Bride of the Iratus. Like, not for single target, but with this, we deal 3 damage to both targets, that's 6, plus they are set on fire, and for 2 turns. So that's gonna be 9, 4 times, uh, which is 36, so it's gonna be 42. Actually, that's that's identical. Identical, so it's actually worse, but The zombie is a bigger body, but you know this this doesn't kill as fast. What is this? Smoke bomb. Wow, this is actually a complete overhaul. It becomes a stress damage dealer Target loses luck accuracy and evasion uh, Zombie gains 1% damage for its next attack. It's not worth it. And that seems just bad. <laughs> you give up damage just to gain one block and ward. Block and ward, admittedly, uh, that blocks a source of damage. So that's good. Okay, I mean, accuracy. If accuracy is a problem, like, this is situational for later. At the start of its next turn, the zombie attacks four times, each attack dealing uh, physical damage to a random enemy. This effect does not consume an action. Holy shit! What? So you can do this for free? That's insane! What? At the start of its next turn, the zombie attacks four times, each attack dealing, uh, yeah, whatever damage to a random enemy. This attack does not consume as action. It's the same thing. What's the difference? Oh, one deals physical, the other deals magical? Wait, you say that this attack does not consume an action, but it fucking does. It fucking does. Uh. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, I understand. I understand why. Why? Okay, okay. That's an automatic attack. That that's what the game m meant. That just automatically happens. So basically, this is just a delayed attack that happens at the start of your next turn. I still have that. Stance looks a little bit weird for that. But whatever. So the only difference here is that do we want magic damage and the same amount? Or do we want slightly delayed? I, I think going for the buckshot. Buckshot. A plentiful buckshot would be the best. But considering how this zombie is used right now. And my lineup. We have to go for the abyssal bombardment. Uh, with extra accuracy. I expect. Results. I expect results. Okay. We also got talents. And we have an ability that does okay damage. I mean, it's not great. Let's be honest. It's 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 bad. <laughs> but we can get more creature parts with the amateur surgeon. We get more artifact thingies there. I think we're just gonna go for more creature parts right now. 10%. Keep in mind, circle, passive, uh, square is active. This allows us to convert parts into mana. Like, that, that's just not not what we want to do at all right now. Uh, let's just head into the dungeon. And this is a quest. Uh, battle squad of one, because that's my only battle squad. Not that easy. As you strive to return to the surface, you encounter something that gives you pause. A great chasm seemingly bottomless blocks the path uh, of your undead uh, host there are no other routes nearby so the only path is forward uh, forge a bread using bones from your stockpile <laughs> I don't have any bones <laughs> levitate your minions across with an expensive spell that's fucking good teleport your minions with risky magic oh no 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 I do like that the game says what am I risking here? Because even in like Darkest Dungeon, like a lot of players just look it up, you know, just like, okay, well, this is good, but uh, it, it will come up that, you know, the game is not being specific and that makes it hard to decide. But of course, the tutorial was pretty short. Levitate your minions across with an expensive spell. Let's do that. I don't know. We don't know how much mana it is. Now, that would be good to know. Like, is it all my mana? 25 mana. All is possible with magic, but mass flight is still reserved only for archmages. Although y you count yourself among them, the spell is still very taxing. Using every available arcane shortcut, you carefully levitate your army across, uh, letting those who can already float make the journey on their own. You are left tired, but the chasm is behind you. I'm not that tired. Uh, we can just fight those guys. There's no nothing there. Alright, what's up, guys? Oh, oh, oh. So, yeah, we gotta be a little careful here. This guy has a boost of accuracy. Also gotta consider how much damage they're dealing. So this guy in the back deals 13 damage. Uh, we have a chance to escape as well. Also, this guy has a crazy amount of luck. But even the f first guy as well. Yeah, this guy's whipped, but okay. Let's flame explode him. End, my friend. And try to take him out. Yeah, I think we might wanna go. Performs an additional attack for each buff on the target. I think this guy doesn't show up. Oh, they, it does show up. When we hover over them, it does show up. If they're gonna come and when they're gonna come. Uh, he's gonna die. I think... Enemies attack the skeleton more often. I think we might need to go for a, a boost. No, no, not, not, that, not, not that guy. Okay, he's gonna die. And this guy is actually in a pretty bad spot. I don't know. He's taking a lot of damage. I, I think I'm just gonna prioritize on, on killing units. He's the second in line. I 
do the bombardment. Oh, he's going to die. Uh, conscript, a lot of fucking damage. We can hit the third guy, who is boosted now. And he's gonna take more damage. Have a warm end, my friend. Well, it's not gonna be enough to kill him. Invalid target? Oh yeah, we can only hit the first two. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, what did he do? At the beginning of the next turn, we'll deal a lot of damage to a random target. Fuck, he needs to die. <laughs> I don't think we can take him out. So, this guy's gonna act, so we have to hit him. The two guys in the front are gonna burn to death. Oh, that's nice. Unfortunately, we cannot act right away. We have to do an abyssal bombardment. Ladder. Okay. Uh, the comp script might just die. Uh, he might die to the fire. He he will not die to the fire. I can make him die to the fire. Have a warm end, That's gonna my be good enough. Friend. Uh, we have some extra rats. Maybe we can take out the Taskmaster. Let's set him on fire. You will soon embrace your new oh, nice. existence. A All actions, uh, of course. Wait. We, we got a cons conscript token. Maybe that's new guy. Graveyard events, the rate leveled up, the Dark Knight healed up, and we got more... Uh, well, that's just building resources. Okay, we can create minions. The mummy. Get a minion to level 5. That unlocks the mummy. Slay 60 enemies. Okay, it seems like a lot of these are, are, are very much locked to achievements. Instead of like, you find them. Uh, let's see what we got in the graveyard. So this guy obviously was chilling and now he's kind of ready to fight. The mom, uh, the zombie is just generating uh, building resources. Uh, she's trying to find artifacts and look at that. She had no, she had a little bit of HP missing and she still has a little bit of HP missing. The rate is leveled up. We have a Dark Knight and a, and a Wraith ready to go. Someone probably should just uh, take a time out in here. I can sacrifice a Wraith if I want to have more healing spots. And I kind of do. If I have minions at the base just doing jack shit other than healing, then yes, they probably should be just healing to full. Oh man, let's see what we can do. I would need to sacrifice a Wraith for that. And I don't want to sacrifice my level 2 Wraith. So let's creation. make a Wraith. And maybe make a Zombie too. Were just superstitions. Okay, we got a Wraith and a Zombie. We got a Wraith here. And I know you guys are not familiar with the Wraith. I, I'm barely familiar with the Wraith myself. So this is a stress attacker, it mostly a stress, uh, we have base attack as well, we can deal magic damage, which according to the game is more useful, the, the rate also comes with uh, two blocks and two wards, and we have a bunch of stress attacks, and also can uh, defend enemies, I mean uh, teammates, with uh, giving them evasion, ghostly fire, ghostly inferno. I think we're just gonna go for more stress. But in order to use the rate, the rate needs to be somewhere in the first three spots. So maybe he's gonna be over there. Uh, we're gonna head back to the graveyard and sacrifice this rate. 
Unholy masonry. Yeah. How much HP I'm missing here? Can I check? So this one is missing 20 HP, uh, 15 HP, 16 HP. So making the Bride of Iratus chill for a for a spell would be decent. Also, this zombie might might be okay with a uh, brain upgrade. I think we have that. No, I don't. No, I only had... No, we are out of brains. <laughs> no more brains. Uh, we can use Dark Knight. Okay, yeah, the arena. I, I guess we're gonna put in the zombie. Just so he's gonna be level 2. Uh, well, I get, we have the zombie in the back. We can take a Dark Knight. And a skeleton and a zombie in the back. And this Dark Knight is just chilling. What I should pay attention to is how much he's healing on his own. Because he's at 54. And uh, he's not getting much better. But we're gonna pay attention to that. We used up all the building resources we can. And uh, also I'm at 53 mana. It would be nice to know how much uh, mana I gain. So these, uh, these would be nice to know. So currently we have 53. Like what kind of mana gain I'm dealing with here. We don't know. I don't know, at least. I can look it up. I can I can look it up. Ancient coffin filled with items? Fuck yeah. Ancient tomb containing dormant minions awaiting their time? I don't know. Game, why you gotta be like that? <laughs> oh my god. Ancient tomb containing dormant minions. I want that. But I want stuff too. I think items are a better choice because even though I really need minions, the items could make the minions I actually use for battle better. And currently I have no, uh, no items. So I guess we're gonna take some items. Select the boon. Eight evasion item. That's basically garbage. A sixth in accuracy item. That's not that good. Critical damage received is reduced by. 16%. That's that's the worst. So this evasion could be okay on the Dark Knight. So I know it seems very low, and it is. And he's mostly mostly like a defender. It's either gonna be accuracy or evasion. I think accuracy is better, but evasion can be justified. Evasion is worth it on a tank. But may not be worth it on a on a on a damage reduction tank. An evasion tank, yeah. I mean, yeah, that could could work. Accuracy. I think I'm just gonna I'll take accuracy. Wait, can I just uh, use the items now? So we have this item, which is accuracy. Can we put it in? So we can put. Wait, what? Fuck. So if you put in an item, it's it. There's no way to remove it. Alright, that guy has an item now. <laughs> we know that. So you cannot just keep switching the items out to your active squad. That is something that I did quite a bit in in uh, Darkest Dungeon, but also found it really annoying. Uh, because it's just uh, stupid micromanagement. Okay, Battle Squad 1 is gonna head out. You guys got this. Of course, it's not very... It's a little bit split right now, because we have physical damage mostly. And uh, combined with a, a, a stressor guy. So this guy got a, got a boost. Have a warm end, my 53. Friend. Move right, so yeah. We always start with zero rat. But it seems like the Flaming Skull is not 100% unjustified as a pick. Because it's cheap. Okay. This guy is all about stress. 
Uh, we can give someone 25 evasion. Yeah, and the Dark Knight has zero evasion, so he would be completely garbage as an evasion tank. And look at this, 120% accuracy. So if he had 8% evasion, it would be utterly pointless. Completely useless. It would be somewhat useful against anyone who doesn't have uh, at least 108% accuracy. But uh, not the best. So we can go Curse Flames. Wow. Holy shit. The guys in the back are extremely resistant. Wait. I guess the Braid can use some accuracy. Some of them are hard life have a 20% evasion. So he has a buff on him, for sure. We can go for death cups for everyone. Each time an enemy receives a buff, uh, they get... Yeah, whatever, that, that's kinda sucks. Removes all debuffs from the Dark Knight and we gain mana. Yeah, okay. We can do stress damage, but I think we just wanna kill the Conscript. I don't really like this delayed attack. Okay. Nine true damage. I think this is the lowest damage I can deal to it. Have a warm end, my friend. We can deal a stress attack to everybody. Do I want to do that? Uh, the conscript might might hate that, but we also might want to kill the elite conscript. And currently, we have a decent chance to do it. Other than just shouting at him. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. Okay. Pathetic. Okay. This guy could die to uh, stress damage. But I think the elite conscript is not going to. Oh, he died. That's great. Stress is, is more unique in that way, that you just stress stress him out and eventually, one, once he drops down to zero sanity, then every kind of stress attack can kill him. It's unclear what's the chance of that, but it's not too low. Okay, 26. Let's try to take out the guy. We gotta prevent the sinister strike. So to the nice. Oh, um, well, do we wanna... We can't even use the special attack here. Remove all buffs from a chosen minion. Restore 6 mana for each buff removed. What? Mana is mine. Well, that's nice, I guess. But he didn't have any buffs at this time. Uh, sure. We don't have to use the flaming skull until we actually have to use it. We can stress everybody out. Gain. Six strat until the, uh, the end of the battle. Uh, well, I don't know. Currently, we, the the raid doesn't really have much to do here. Um, maybe it's more useful to actually give concealment to the the Dark Knight. So he's less likely to get hit because we want to take out the Taskmaster physically. Okay, Taskmaster is about to come, so. I think we're just gonna cannonball. A sad display of mortal kind. Oh, we found the level 3 brain. 30 IQ. Oh, look at that. All these humans. The guy had 30 IQ. That's better than what we got. What? Oh my guys. Okay, 
two guys healed up. He healed up. By how much? Was he at like 56, I believe? I think he heals by 5 a turn. Is there... Is it possible to check the events again? I don't think so. Once... You, well, you just check it out once and... After that, uh... Good luck. So, we can put these guys in. And they need to chill, the, chill out. The dead lake is fine. How much it would cost me to upgrade? Oh, it requires a... Uh, what the fuck that is? <laughs> we don't have it. Uh, training. So I kind of want to take out the zombie. The training area. Obelisk. Can gain more XP. The dead lake. Find me some <laughs> random items. Oh man. Random part. I don't know, is that really worth it though? I don't know. I, I gotta make some more creatures. Uh, well, a banshee, a right. I can, I, I can make only one of them. And I currently don't have a banshee. Let's make a banshee. You will learn to enjoy your wretched existence. I can make another banshee. Let's fucking do it. Alright, we got two Banshees now. But question is what the fuck we do with the Banshees. I think one of the Banshees is just gonna go into the arena. And the other one... Pff, I don't fucking know. This is a level 1, still. He's very slowly healing up. But we can also sacrifice him. Into the abode of rats. And so I start with a little bit of extra. Rage. I don't really want that though. I mean, it's it's okay. I don't fucking know what to do with this zombie. I, I, I kind of like the igniting mixture the most. This deals uh, quite a bit of damage. This deals per turn for how many turns? I think it's two turns. Smoke bomb. But that's only on one target. It doesn't say for how many turns. No, it's actually two turns. Because the other effects affects him for two turns. So this is like a pretty high stress damage option. Trench loading. Okay. I, I kind of like the, the whistling buckshot here. No, no, no. Is it? Is it the one? No, no, it's not the one. Uh, fiery explosive. Fiery explosive, or I don't know. Yeah, the one that deals damage to everybody. So he's kind of got an AOE damage dealer because this first uh, ability is just complete garbage. This this ability is not complete garbage. I mean, it deals okay damage. It deals, uh, well, upwards 32 damage. But I think the igniting mixture is better because it hits two targets. Set two targets on fire. And uh, yeah, it's just better. Like for two turns, it's just, it just a lot of fucking damage. I think the fire explosives is the way to go. If we can have him Get on the front line. So first two spots. And we can have a skeleton here. And now we have two units that are just chilling and have nothing to do. Which is not the best. Uh, the Banshee is actually a stress uh, damage dealer. But I'm not sure if the Banshee likes to be on the last spot. Also, I'm not sure if I wanna... Kick the zombie. <laughs> just because he's missing 15 HP. I mean, fuck, yeah. I mean, he's missing 15 HP, I guess. We can install a better brain for the bay. <laughs> she... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's such a funny concept. I like it. Uh, what the hell is this? Stance. Whenever an enemy moves, the Banshee deals uh, 12 stress damage to it. 
but the, the, this stance just stays on for one round. So, not the best. <clears throat> Restores the target to full sanity. And I think the best one for the Banshee is the Soprano. It It is just... Uh, lowers the damage of all enemies by 6. No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, 6 by with this, the Crescendo. And also, they take stress damage. That seems pretty damn good. The Banshee has 5 initiative, which is just acceptable. Not amazing. The Banshee seems more like a, a mana filler here. But in order to fill mana, she has to be on the first uh, three spots. And in order to use Soprano for uh, the, the second and third spot. Yeah, I don't know about this Dread buff. I mean, that's that seems more situational. Yeah, I don't know about that. Also, this no is, is very situational, but you might want to go for like extra HP here just to upgrade it. Scream. Now, the scream is just like it's just the first ability. It's usually not the best. That's kind of how it goes for these minions. The first is usually like, look at this. This is a perfect example. She can use it from all positions, but it, it just deals 15 stress damage. And considering that, you know, the zombie can deal like... Uh, you know, like, what is this? I think it was like 42 or so. I, I think it's even more. Yeah, it's 42, and she can deal 42 with the Flames of Love. Or something along that. I'm like, 15 is just complete garbage. So you need you need something better than that. The Banshee just seems uh, the best if, you, if she just uh, spams the Soprano. Considering that, like, we, we actually have two minions here that kind of do, do nothing. Souls of the Architect. We can sacrifice that guy. <laughs> oh my god. At the beginning of battle. Do I fucking want that? Maybe we want that. This guy is being useless. Let's do it. Most We're just gonna put in the Banshee. Actually, we can put in a... Wait. Might Level 1. Who has the insight to I just take out uh, the Bride of Iratus, so she heals up a little bit. She also is uh, also is kind of getting closer to level two a little bit, not by a lot. So yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, I also have a talent. <clears throat> uh, we can find more Architect Souls at the end of battle. Convert. Items into mana, replace parts in the minions with higher quality parts, more magic. I, th I think we are good with magic right now. Re restores 5 mana after every fight, now that seems pretty good. Alright, that's that seems okay. Alright, well, let's just go for the more, more architect thingies. Skeletons gain 20 vigor, pretty fucking good. I wouldn't mind finding more parts. We need more guys. Look at this. This is terrible. Like, these guys get wounded. <laughs> I mean, we are out of business. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, guys. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is kind of like a longer episode, hopefully. And uh, and uh, maybe the previous ones are going to... I mean, the, the, the following ones are going to be maybe more manageable. But I, I like to make the first episodes get a little bit longer. So it's like a, it's a, like a proper introduction to the game that I very much enjoy. <laughs> But also, I'm kind of just getting into it right now, so I'm not the proest of them all. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.